day, everybody. This is John Mack again. We are back in Norway. in ascension mode kind of elevating our reality kind of upgrading up to the next level closer to 5d we are at a bookstore here in uh, Maya Mall and I have to say there's so many amazing books here it's like a candy store so right now I'm in an aisle here with so many I mean here's the new book from Ray Dalio brilliant persuasion that's a brand new book uh, Storyteller Secrets, Art of Thinking Clearly, Thinking Fast and Slow, all the famous books, Power of Habit, right here. Surrounded by Idiots. That sounds very familiar. Maybe I should read that. Here we have Thinking Grow Rich. It's a book that everybody should read. It should, be, it should have been school material. But so, uh, while well, I'm reading educational stuff, Marbella, she got um, her housewife porn stuff. So. Uh -uh. This is Children of the Time. It's about the future. Have you are Children of the Time? Technology. Oh, mm -hmm. cool. Here we are. Thank you. The, the books changes your mindset. Um, I can confirm that. The thing with uh, the educational system that I really like to talk as much shit about as I can is that the books that I'm looking for and people that do extraordinary things, those kind of books you will never see in class at school. And that's fucking sad. Because that will change people, which will change the planet. So we're kind of bouncing around today. Now we're at Central Festival we're doing our last, I don't know, pit stops and uh, purchase some little things. Finish off the uh, scene at um, internet subscription for our condo. We just pay a visit to the office here and sign up that contract. And uh, go back to the apartment, pack my shit up, all the tech stuff, my iMac, get ready to um, head for the airport. We went on the plane um, on Thursday to leave Chiang Mai, uh, go to Bangkok and go to Norway. During that trip I started to feel the, um, the thing that I sometimes talk about, the feeling of a shift, something changing. It's just like an emotional uh, sensation or you, you can, or you can even observe uh, changes in your life uh, in the reality around you. And the funny thing is that yesterday at the hotel room when we went to bed, uh, I was dead fucking tired. Still probably jet lagged from the trip from Bangkok. I opened up my phone and I like to keep track of the uh, cosmic weather. So I'm checking the Schumann resonance and I'm checking the activity of the sun. And um, sometimes I check in with the Global Consciousness Project. I talk about all this in a previous video. Uh, but yesterday the sun, the, the, the intensity from the sun was sick. It was so intense and I haven't seen it that strong for, for a long time. So, so something is happening and it's going to give an impact. 
have some kind of an impact on the planet and and most likely on our energy state of being in some way. Sometimes I just like to uh, compare that with what I'm feeling myself and it's kind of a confirmation that something is going on. Oh, we are in Thailand. We are at the airport in Chiang Mai. And I just feel raped yet again by Thai fees. Meeting FedEx, delivering my package here in Chiang Mai, ordered from the States, paying a fuckload of import taxes. Let's see how that goes. Yep. Uh, but 6,000 baht? Holy six shit. 6,400. So yeah, I finally got the package. So this is um, something I ordered from B&H in the United States. And I have to say that I'm pretty impressed with the time of delivery. It was super fast with uh, FedEx. You know, I just need to make sure that I can secure my iMac, which is a $4,000 uh, iMac. And I go back to Norway. And one thing I didn't like so much here, and I'm kind of surprised with, is that when this guy called me today, uh, I was at Central Festival having some coffee and this FedEx guy called me and said, yes, I'm here, uh, that would be 6,000 baht, please. And I said, what the fuck? Uh, and, uh, but yeah, well, I'm here now and I just paid him 6,400 baht for the import taxes. And um, basically what I got, you can please frame if you want to. Uh, so I don't know, is it um, worth it to order in when you live in Thailand? I don't know. Anyway, an SKB case from b and I found a bunch of cases that was a lot more expensive than this one. At least I'm securing my Mac. Big motherfucker of a hard case. So we had that, plus some extra things probably. So what I'm talking about here is paying... Total 73 kilos. 73 kilos overweight. We're talking about no, overweight? What? That was the total. Our allowed weight was 40. 73, yes. So we're 36 kilos over. Yes, and uh, that equals 10,800 baht in overweight fee. All right, we got our baggage. So far, so good. Except for becoming fucking poor. I need to sell my body online to get my cash back. We have what we need. We carry on. Alright, so we're by one of the gates or exits here at the um, airport and going over to the um, to the hotel we have. So uh, as a Grab Premium member or user, um, I don't know. I don't know if it's a cheap one. We got a flat fee of uh, five hundred Thai baht, and uh, it's not that bad actually. It's a forty-minute drive, I think half an hour, forty minutes, straight to the uh, hotel, which is just by the main airport, international airport, that we're flying out from tomorrow. Um, it's uh, Thursday morning, 6, 15, 6, 30, something. The sun is up. And we are at Bangkok Airport, International Airport, going out. Move along.
the day in Norway. The sun is shining today and that's pretty nice. We're really noticing the, the change that we have felt the last days. And today, so today that I've been talking about before, we kind of feel the, feel the change, the sen sense and energy change, a shift. the country going from 35 degrees to about 10 but as a cool person I am I love cold weather yeah the person who's complaining about their cold hands during the flight yeah, she's babbling she's tired she's tired we are at Skarmon airport in Norway and um, we had a direct flight this time though, straight from Bangkok to Norway to Gardermoen. But um, yeah, it was a nice trip. Good to go, we're catching a train down to the city center. A hotel is waiting for us. We're going to relax, have a shower and go out and get some food. Okay, we're settled at the hotel. We are at room 432 if you want to come and visit. Probably won't make it, but it would be nice to say hello. We're starving, so we're going downstairs to get some food, something to drink, get some work done in a hurry before we need to relax. We need to, need to follow up with some requests from um, people uh, watching my video that was posted today, actually, last video. So there's always stuff to do. So we finally packed living city box in Oslo, now it's time for second breakfast, coffee. I'm just gonna hang out here until I pick up a rental car and take this down to my homestead in south of Norway. like we're in the old part of the city here we're having a discussion going on intensely about the Whether best place for us to eat now we could get curry yeah. Indian food or cozy uh, hi cook puppy hi right so we ended up at Bombay Tandoori it was pretty good TripAdvisor winner in 2015 Looks so interesting. I think they would be properly fed. We can testify that Bombay Tandoori here, Tunspike, Norway, had prima food. Prima food. Yeah, I get nice dishes for for ten dollars in different restaurants. Uh, seems like we were lucky. So that was this week. So this was um, it was a really cheap meal. Both dishes for a hundred uh, kroners. 
ten dollars. It's still more um, d double than what we're used to in, in Chiang Mai in Thailand, but it's good food. But yeah, I recommend this place. Now we're back on the road. <laughs>